to start off all my games with. Good, Kemba. Run off of it. Oh, yeah. Stop. Pop. Ho, ho, ho. Boom. Yes, sir. Giant. See if we can get MPJ going. Damn, man. I need to run that play. There it is. Oh, yeah. MPJ. Stop. Hooray. Pop. Boom. Oh, yeah. Donovan. Stop. Pop. That's a layup. <laughs> What's good with y'all, man? It's CTAZ. And today I'm going to show you how to run the best play in 2K23 to get a wide open three every single time, you guys. Now, this play is really, really effective for me because it has three options. It honestly has more than three options. But for me, I like to go to three options and I'm going to break down each option, how to run it and all that kind of stuff, man. But before we get any further into this tutorial, let's try and get this video up to 50 likes today, y'all. And if you are new to the channel and enjoy playing our online content, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're on the road to 4,000 subs. It's completely free and it'll make my day. And now without further ado, I'll jump right into it. Pest control, who call about rats? Who won't smoke with us? Who won't smoke with us? Who won't smoke with us? All right, you guys, so this is the most important part of setting it up. Before the game even starts, before you even load into the game, you want to go here. Coach settings, scroll all the way down. And you want to tap left, toggle all the way left so you get all the way here. The 13, 2013 feet playbook. This is the playbook that you need to have your coaching settings set to in order to call this play. And then to also get the lines down, like where you can see all the arrows right here. I like to have play vision set to all plays, play vision display set to full, and then play messages to show all. And then very quickly before the game starts, one last thing that I promise y'all. Pause the game, go to offensive settings, scroll down to play selection. If you want to clear everything out so that it's nice and simple under your favorite plays menu in the game, you can just clear it all out and scroll down. It's not very far, it's right here. Boom, quick 32 horns clear. Huh? Depending on your team, you just want to run it for your best shooter. Hit triangle on it. It'll take you down, down here to your players. For this team, I'm probably going to run it for Franz Wagner. All right, so once you equip your playbook and you get that play set in your favorite plays menu, when you hop back into the game for my newbies that don't know how to call plays, all you want to do is hit left on the D-pad. Your favorite menu plays is going to pop up. And for me right here, as you guys can see, it's L1. So you just want to select the proper icon for that play. Quick 32 box flare. And then right after you call the play, obviously your team, your player is going to set up into the play. And right here, it's going to look like this. They're going to set up into a box, obviously, for the play call, what it's called. And you're going to have two shooters on, the on both blocks. For me, I have Kelly Oubre and LaMelo Ball specifically more for LaMelo ball where the one is that's where your primary who you're really trying to get the ball to who this plays really ran for now here's the first option we're going to kind of slow it down and then kind of speed it up as you, as we go along with this video here's the first option what you want to do is with the play initiator with your ball handler Terry Rozier for this example you want to attack where the shooter is so where LaMelo is standing that's where I'm trying to get the ball to with Lame with Terry Rozier and then I try to post up and kind of just block the way you're kind of like setting us like a, a legal legal screen like obviously they're not going to call that 2k but you're blocking LaMelo's defender's way and causing confusion and as you guys can see right here both the Rosen and Zach Levine get confused so we're gonna run it back again just a little bit quicker in normal speed bam simple quick hitter I like to run this often because it's a quick option and then again here's another example we're running with Luca and the Mavs uh the play is for Kemba we were doing a Kemba gameplay right here we attack hard with uh, Luca and bam he's off ball with the center both AIs could not recover in time now here's the second option it's for the second shooter so let's say the first shooter coming off that first screen is not open so right here i'm running with denver i'm initiating with jamal murray i have kcp and mpj as my primary shooters right there obviously he's open but but look mpj's man rotates over and mpj's man there's no one else to rotate as mpj's man so this is why this plays so deadly this is only the second option y'all here it is again we're gonna run back a little bit quicker in normal speed we attack hard with jamal murray to the first shooter's starting spot we did get in his way, but we wanted to run it for the second option. And there it is. MPJ, bam, knockdown. And here's the third option for you guys. We're running with the Cavs, running this for Donovan Mitchell. We attack hard at Donovan Mitchell, his man. But we are playing someone that was comp. And he switched the on-ball defender for Darius onto Donovan, which is James Harden. And as you guys can see right here, we get it to the second option, which is Isaac Okoro. We get him confused. Now, here's the third option. He gets a flare screen, you guys. There's just so many movement and options in this play. That it confuses the defense and this is why i love it here it is one more time in regular speed we're attacking hard with darius garland at donovan mitchell's man my opponent was smart he knew he switched it 
We attack with the second shooter. He gets lost and he gets screened on the back. Yes, so he doesn't see it in time and AI doesn't recover in time. Now here's what happens when all options get defended decently well. We're running it with the Warriors. Obviously, I like to run this with Wiggins and have both of my Splash Bros uh, come off both the screens. So we're running this play for Clay. As you guys can see, he's the first shooter coming off the first screen. He's not open. We try to see if Steph's open on the second screen. He's not open as well. And now here's the flare screen. They switch it. As you guys can see, their center, Joel Anthony's, or whoever that is, switches on. We pump fake, we make a play, and we're just hooping now. But another thing I could have did, as you guys can see, Wiseman, they switched it. So Wiseman has a mismatch. If you have a guy like Jokic, you're running, you know, Jokic or Giannis is coming down on that screen, rolling to the rim, you could easily mash and just take advantage of that mismatch if they do decide to switch it like that. All right, so here's another example of where I'm just kind of hooping. We're running with the Grizzlies, running this for Desmond Bain. They come off the first screen. Dylan Brooks come off the third screen. They switch it between the shooters. He's not open. When this happens, I like to call for a rescreen because typically that's your center um, ending up on that side closest to the, the shooter. And so I just call for another screen manually by holding L1. And right here, bam, I kind of just hoop. I could have easily just kind of did a bailout pass to Steven Adams and he could have got an easy two. But right here, y'all know my leaners, man. My leaners are like essential. So here is kind of where an example where I was just hooping out of it and it didn't really work out for me like either of the three options. And I kind of just, you know, was just reading and hooping like I said. So here's the first option. Lowry comes off of it. Rudy right here. You can do this to the second guy to attack the paint and then kind of just, you know, see which defender helps and, you know, helps in. And right here, you know, I, I obviously was trying to get the ball to Lowry for the third option in the player screen. Wasn't there. I get it to my center because I see that he's on balling it. I drive by and we're just hooping now. Like, look, right here, get it to Lowry. Fox winding out. I could have mashed, but I see Lowry wide open. And boy, that's a great shot. But I just sold and I missed it with Lowry. And then going back to, man, I want to show you guys like a fourth option that I don't really look to run, but it can be there. So who you initiate the play for or play with can also be an open shooter as a third shooter. So right here, Malik Beasley is my play initiator. You get the ball, your first shooter, your second shooter. If you guys can pay attention to see where Malik Beasley is in your top right corner of your screen, he is coming off of his down screen as well. And, but like I, like if you guys can see right there, he's not open. So that play, so that option is not always there, but just know this, that's kind of like a back pocket option. But all right then y'all, that is gonna wrap up this tutorial. I hope y'all dig it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna try my best to get back to y'all. And like I said, man, I'm gonna try to put y'all on all the sauce, try to get y'all as many wins as possible. And for those of you that are still trying to get to the GOAT League, trying to help y'all as much as well, man. And if you enjoy playing out online content just like this one, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 4,000 subs. We got all the playing out online content coming crazy for y'all. And as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all and much love.